guys, let's do this one again. Not this one again, let's try another one, is what I mean to say. Uh, following, uh, I think the last video I put out was, you know, something that you can make as a Christmas present, Christmas holiday season present or related. Um, this is something I wanted to make for the, the last show, but I didn't get it done. And I, I'd like to, the, I think I can do it, I think it would be cool, I think people would like it, because it's like a railroad spike, and the railroad spike project, uh, and turn it into a stocking hanger, you know, for the mantle. I think there's enough weight, that's, that's going to be the key, is to make sure there's enough weight back there so that this, this thing will, uh, will hang on to a stocking full of great little things, you know? So, uh, I think the approach for today is going to be simple. I'm not going to do anything to the head, although if you want to challenge, originally I thought that I could, if I made some tooling, uh, forge this out into, I think, where am I? I think you could get a Christmas tree out of that head. All right, nice little triangle with some details. I think that would look awesome behind this uh, spike hanging down as the uh, thing. But we're just going to leave the spike just the way it is. Uh, I need some stability left and right like this from rolling. Um, so I'm going to split this and just going to widen that out, give it a, a flare. So it's got a little bit of stability there. And then the minimal amount of uh, steel that I think I need just to drop down a little bit in a hook. So this should be maybe even quicker to do than it is for me to explain it to you today. So let's hope it's an easy one. Let's get at it. Alright, just like I normally do, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit again. I don't mind it looking rough, but at the same time, it is a decoration. We need that back uh, lip gone. So we'll get that out of there because it should sit flat or relatively flat on top. I think that'll do the trick. Clean it up a little bit. It's actually one of my better spikes in good shape. Now I talked about what I wanted to do for stability here and I, I think I'm going to follow through with it splitting it but one idea that I had is we could just flatten that all right you know just come come out here maybe even into a diamond type pattern uh, so that it's got a good flip but I kind of I'd rather I don't know I kind of want to keep the the, um, the railroad spike sense of it and by splitting it I think people can still see what it used to be. Uh, another thing you might be able to do if you're good at upsetting is to create a nice little round disc here to provide that uh, stability and turn that into a candle holder that holds on to your stockings. Uh, you may have some liability when the stocking tips over the lit candle, but that's an idea. But we're going to heat it up. We're going to throw ahead. We're going to throw, I would say, from about here. Imagine that's the mantle. We're going to be about like that. I'm going to, maybe even the mason chisel, about that much of a, a slit in it. I want to start with that. It's a big, big, big slit to be making, that's for sure. I'll tell you right now, I'm wishing I had my glasses on so I could see where the center was. But I didn't, and I didn't, and no, nope, that's not good. We got a little time here to play. We want to make sure this thing's where we want it. Otherwise, we'll be regretting it later. I'm not going to make the whole cut with this. But I think that's where we want it to be. And from there, we'll go to the little, little bit better chance of getting cut through here quicker. Now that we got our line where we want it to be. And that's it. I'm liking it. Try to keep or even try to keep it straight. One more heat, I think we'll be almost through. Mine's a little bit more heat than that. Where the H did I put my hammer? Complaining about the heat and then spending time looking for the tools. You're a winner, Chandler. You'll be a winner, winner, winner. Once you get a routine down, splitting these things wouldn't be too bad. Some of you guys might go less old school and just drop a cutoff wheel right through there. And that doesn't sound like a horrible idea. Actually. Alright. 
think that's good. What I don't want to do. I thought I have a shell on the other side. Almost. But I think I can figure out where it is. I think I'm going to start coming back from the other side now. Because, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So one more heat. We'll start, start this side and bring those two together. Alrighty, I got a piece of sacrificial down. I forgot I'm going to be off the edge though. I'll have to kind of play it by ear there. And I know somewhere in the middle here I'm good to go. So I'm going to start with that spot. Shouldn't take much. And then work my way up till I feel where we where need to be. I just don't want them too, too out of whack. Two out of whack. Thought I'd be able to bring them right through, but I guess I'd be wrong. That's through. That's through. All right, let's see what we got. I thought I'd be able to be done on that heat, but I was wrong. So we are. Yeah, we came in at an angle there, so we got a little bit of fixing up to do, but... Alright, I'm with it. One more heat. I'm not happy with the bugaboo that I caused by coming from the other side. I'm gonna just go back and we're gonna keep slitting this from this side. Because now I gotta clean that up. And that sucks. Because I don't want that extra little steel there. But hopefully she'll flatten out and not be too noticeable. When all I had to do was what I'm doing right now, because now we're through. You see what I mean? It's just um, technique, and I think you're going to find if you talk to a few different people, both have their validities. I believe both do. But let's see if we can kind of clear things up here. that little piece there I don't want. I'm just trying to bottom out these end cuts here. I'm using the wrong ammo. And then we'll go from there. This is a horrible example. Horrible example of trying to slip through this. But, let me explain what happened. So things are going pretty well. And then he said, let me flip it over and come from the other side. When I came from the other side in the center, I did. I can't, didn't come down at this at a straight angle or something like that, and I ended up coming down and through offset there. But I think we can clean this up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open these things up, uh, flare them out, try to get the inside cleaned up the best I can. I don't think I need to slit this other piece off, although I might. Just I, yeah, I am. I'm going to come back. I'm going to slit this little shard off here and then we'll open it up and uh, clean the inside out and make her look make her look presentable I'm trying to figure out the best way to un mistake my mistake and I think from this direction if I can get that shard out of there I'll be happy I think that's it okay so we fixed that little problem, again, just that one little piece I didn't want in there. Uh, Moving over here, I'm just going to start working this thing down the anvil a little bit. Just to open it up. It doesn't need to be opened up a lot, but i got to get it open enough so I can get in there and clean things out. So we'll just... Kind of go like that a couple of times until all of my cutting mistakes are, are smoothed off on the inside. And I got a nice pretty shape there. Try to center things up. I'm going to cool that head down just a little bit. This is not going to be some $30, $40 item. So uh, going in there and hot filing to clean that up. Uh, oh, that's turkey channel. 
Dang it. I didn't need to lose that. Uh, I don't want to spend the time doing that. <laughs> so here, again, you can do this a couple of different ways, but if you get enough of a point on your anvil, I'm just bottoming out that cut. So that it looks, in this case, I have to center it too, because it's kind of a little off center there. But I wanted to bottom that out so it won't split. In this case, it's not going to because it's just a, what do you call it? A uh, stocking holder, you know what I mean? But uh, same thing on the bottom. You want to try to get those cuts. Smoothed out. And we're, like, we're not looking too bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but we're getting there. And when we get everything leveled back up, that's going to provide a lot of stability left and right. Yet, I don't think it removes the idea that it was a railroad spike once. As a matter of fact, it adds a little bit of coolness to it. I think what I didn't say is, uh, you know, a little time with a hot file inside that would clean that up too. And we might do that. We'll see. Tune to bottom out this end. Well, we got the heat. Fine. Stay there. Now see what I can do about evening the thickness of that whole thing all the way down there. Start putting things where I want it. Try to get things straightened back up here the best we can. Um, we need to come down here a little bit more. See how we're all cockeyed and stuff like that. We gotta fix that. Oh yeah, I spent quite a bit of time on this thing trying to get it lined up. So that's as good as it's gonna get right there. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Uh, would I sell it? Probably not. Not even. Well, geez, there's these people out there, though, that they, they like that stuff, you know? They like it when it's a little bit on the goofy side. i got to fix my tongue, something went, went wacky with those. So it isn't perfect yet, but it's there. Bring you over here. Key, moral of the story, you ready? I don't know what happened to my tongue, but they don't fit a railroad spike no more. Uh, I split almost up to the, the head of the spike. That gives you no room, no leverage to mess around when that when that gets crooked if you were to hold you know hold away just an inch uh i think it would have made a huge difference in trying to get that thing where i wanted it to be it's not as pretty as i'd like but it's pretty enough and that's where it's going to stay so i'm going to go ahead and adjust my tongs so that they work i'm not sure what happened to them i don't see anything broken so either you know these are so lightweight to begin with and then we're going to turn around and uh we'll put this I'm going to see what we can do about putting a 90 degree uh, turn in on this. I think that'll make it more secure. And then just a little hook and we'll be done. Over this 90 degree corner that I'm considering, I'm thinking I wish I had a lot more length to work with. But I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw that thing in the uh, in the vise and get it started. And if I can go 90, I will. If not, we'll, we'll do the best we can. I don't want it to be a very long... Uh, curve 90 because sitting on the edge once you put weight on that that curve is going to want to affect things so the more square we can make it the better let's see how, how far we get with it priority is to not mess up all that work we just did on the bottom moral of the story might be that 90 should have been put in first i do not know we are about to find out that's for sure oh sure so we got to make sure we go the right way with it how much do i need i don't need much at all but i need to go there We'll just see if we can at least persuade it. Without break anything. Now we're going for another heat. I don't want to go too crazy on it right now. Ah, you see what we got though, that's unacceptable. If we can get a little more, a little more of an angle on this thing now. Keep the hammer out here because something's going to break. 
on show. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So where are we? All right, we're looking much better. Let's get her cleaned up, and then let's see what we can do about trying to 90 it as best we can. For goodness, if I don't have more videos about things that you don't have the right tongue for the job, I would. Gosh, I just can't believe it. I mean, who's got a tongue for this? Sons of guns. Trying to get this flattened back out. So at least we got the right platform. We'll cool the tip of that. I can't quite get it that way. How can I get it that way? This way. Losing all my heat. We're going to cool the tip of that a little bit. So I can try to put a little upset in this direction for that 90. much better on the next heat. Yeah, it's not looking bad. I mean, it's getting there. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on now. I'm starting to believe. That perhaps we should have seen this part first. Yeah, dirty, rotten, little fungal mothers. Well, that's why you guys are sitting over there, just in case they decide I don't want to come. Oh, a little upsetting in that direction. And we're getting almost as close as I want to get there. A little bit more. I mean, what's most important is the inside. Get a good angle there. And that's pretty darn good to me. So, we'll go, we'll, we'll go through one more cycle. I don't think we we'll need to. But we wasted a little extra time on this one already. Merry Christmas. Happy whatever. All right, let's see what we can do here. We want to upset in that direction, so we're going to cool this again. Best is sweet canis, marianus, and ginger. Alright, here we go. That's all we're going to get. I'm rounding it over more than I'm doing anything. I'm going to reheat it, put it back in the vise, square that off on the other end. And we are going to be on the home stretch of this bracket. I don't know exactly how much time, but it probably, I probably spent more than half down here yet. More than half an hour on it anyway, but I think it can be done in a half an hour, the whole thing. In a fit of panic about 30 seconds ago, I started wondering, did I put that angle in the right direction? <laughs> but it appears that I did. All right, let's just flatten this thing down, get our square corner back again. We didn't get exactly 90 on the outside, but that wasn't the priority. However, it might have been the exercise, eh? We can get there. We had to. Well, I'll tell you another little secret. I ain't exactly disappointed with what we got either. It's pretty damn close. Pretty darn close. I'm sitting I can't clamp it. Pretty darn close indeed, I see. Get a hold of this. You probably can't see it. Just cleaning up the sides. You know what, for a dumb, don't know what he's doing, that ain't bad, is it? I don't think so at all. All right, so now we're going to do is uh, I want to maintain that rectangular shape, so I'm not going to go around. We'll thin this nose out just enough to bring it up, maybe put a little on the end, and we will be done. What a project, I'll tell you. I sure do wish I had a better way to hold on to this thing. It is what it is. Draw that out a little bit. Oh. Tease what it is. I don't want to lose my 90 though. That stop, man. Jeez, the boy's trying. Crying out loud. That's what gets me when I'm trying, and you guys, you jinxes of the handle. 
fight me all the way. That's when it gets to be a little discouraging. We're good. That's not bad. One or more heats. One or two more heats. See if we can just get a little bit more out of you if we can before you stubbornly. You become stubborn about it. I don't mind narrowing it down a little bit. We don't need a whole heck of a lot of hook there. So a little taper doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. Alright, so we would be hanging like this once things are straightened back up. Let's see just a little bit more. A little bit more and we'll be happy, happy, happy. Alrighty, can you see enough? Almost. Thin this out a little bit more. anything wrong with that. I really, really don't. Let's see if we can do something here to get her swing. I'm going to go right back to the vise. You may not see, but I'm just going to go back to the vise to square it up a little. Of course, we angle corner and everything. the main today. Well, we got some heat back there. I can't hold much, but let's hold right here. There's a guy out there with tongs for uh, railroad spikes that pinched the head. And I could, you know, I, uh, I know he sold a lot of them. I forget his name. Why go to the group? Blacksmithing for beginners on Facebook, and they'll point in the right direction for show. Uh, now I know why you got them because this is the one time where all I have is that freaking head to work with. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, give this thing a little hook, and I think we're good. I, I think I think I like the way it sets. It's a little Ricky Rocky in the back, though. Let's pull that back down before we put the hook on. We will be done. What a what a fiasco this do not be. Towards the front there. Boy, I wish that head was not like what it is. I wish it turned out perfect, but it is what it is. Can I? Hey, Chandler, let's mess it up now. If I just put a twist on it at least, maybe it'll make me happier. Because it is twisted along with being offset. So maybe just a little twist. And Chandler will be able to sleep tonight. Maybe. Oh heck, that made a big difference. I'm okay with that. Gotta bring this down a little bit so she sits solid-ish. I think I'm okay with that. It's it is what it is what it is. The next one would be that up. Alright, let's put the little loop-to-loop -loop in now. Be done with this. Right. So I think what we can do. need much and I think actually I'm not even going to put a curly cue on the end of it I don't think I'm going to do that at all I kind of like that just the way it is make sure she looks straight Isn't that funny all right what are you making Chandler oh just a stocking holder <laughs> you just saw <laughs> The only, the, more, <laughs> the only functional part of the dang thing, practically, and it was done in seconds. Unbelievable. And that's it. All right, I'm going to get it cleaned up. I'll come back and cry about what I'm not happy with. But uh, And then we'll give her a test. We'll see if she'll hold, how much she'll hold before she flips. Hopefully it'll work anyway. You can always put something in there. All righty, guys, and there you have it. Not my... Prize, prize project because of this right here all right so that part really got to me and practice makes perfect no doubt about it it just isn't it isn't right uh, and if any of you guys would have an idea how to how to fix that you let me know um, again this side 
if I could just stretch this side out a little bit more, um, it would move that, that head back into the right angle. Uh, but this is already thinner. So maybe it started all the beginning when I slid it. I didn't slid it evenly. Not sure. But I will tell you this. If you had given yourself a little bit more room here, from here to here, you could, you could have definitely tweak that out a little bit. Short of that, um, like I said, some people dig that kind of stuff. This is rough and crazy looking. Uh, it could also be a candle holder. All right? You can set a candle in there if you wanted to. And, uh, and hang your stocking on it. I'll put it down here. I ain't got no stocking in the shop because that dot Santa Claus be coming to see me this year. But it'll hang a nutcracker. How about that? All right. <laughs> and that's a nutcracker from the last video. So again, you guys came to me asking for uh, you know something that we should we all should be able to do without a huge amount of tools. Um, I think this is a good example. The cool thing about both of these projects is that I, I although not formally trained feel there's a tremendous amount of fundamental work that, that went into these. It's something that you could do on almost, almost with almost any setup. Uh, in this case, uh, slitting and, and uh, we didn't really drift, but we kind of worked it on the anvil. We stretched those things out, give this thing a little more stability. We did a, a not a very proud one, but a, a good practice on a 90 degree turn, which I don't think it hurts to ever do that practice for sure. Uh, it actually was quite easy on a railroad spike, so that might be where you want to you want to start that little hook on the bottom, and you have yourself a. Gosh, I wish I had a stocking. I gotta wish I had myself a stocking. So for the final picture, it looked pretty if I had a stocking. Sons of guns. <laughs> Go buy me a stocking. Uh, let's stop talking. That's the second video this week. We'll see if we get another one too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a nice simple project. Kind of like the nutcracker. And uh, something you can do and still have time for Christmas. Enjoy your stocking hanging days. Goodbye. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me you can jump back to my channel there's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar and go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more I guarantee thanks for your support as always